Whether it's back pain or headaches, more than 51 million Americans live with chronic pain. And health experts say it is important to find a safe way to manage it. Mandy Gaither reports it starts with identifying what's causing your pain. When your back constantly hurts, you may think you know where the pain is originating, but you may also be wrong. All pain occurs in the brain. If your brain doesn't decide you have pain, then you don't have pain. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says he by no means is diminishing pain, but he says humans can do almost anything within reason to the body and not have pain if their brain decides it's not there. On the other hand, he says the brain can also create pain where it shouldn't exist. People who don't have limbs anymore, phantom limb pain, for example, how does that happen? How is the brain creating pain in a part of the body that doesn't even exist? There's a lesson in there, and that is that all pain is in the brain which is an opportunity, I think, to try and control it. Gupta says the first step to managing chronic pain through your brain is to realize it often comes with baggage. It may be depression, anxiety, poor sleep, or loneliness. Pain is a truly mysterious biopsychosocial phenomenon. We don't know how to measure it. We don't know how to categorize it, but we know that it comes with all these things sort of intermingled. To unlock the brain's power of pain relief, Gupta says lifestyle changes may be in order, including an anti-inflammatory diet, using movement as medicine, meditation, and prioritizing adequate quality sleep. I think it's hard for people to sort of wrap their heads around that sometimes because it makes sense. Oh, my shoulder's bothering me. It's waking me up. But could it be that your poor sleep in the first place is causing your pain to get worse? Uh, that's where the science is really heading. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.